then how would like what advice would you give to people then if you had like one advice that you can give to everybody in this world like okay. how would you what would you <laughs> give them in order for them to i guess like like manage their mental health then like right okay yeah. well it depends okay uh, i had a brief look at your website by the way congratulations it's very very nicely done yeah and i'm not just saying this i'm really i mean yeah, yeah. um what would be the advice number one is be patient to yourself and mm -hmm. to others and be i think be kinder be so also towards yourself and speaking of mental health if people do face challenges like anxiety or depression or whatever it is yeah and these are difficult times so it's not too unusual to to be affected in any way yeah mm -hmm. is don't be tense in trying to be happy mm -hmm. but rather and don't be too impressed by your own moods mm -hmm. yeah uh, and i can tell you a story from a self help group my teacher elizabeth lucas uh, was was organizing a self help group for those who are you know halfway after a severe crisis yeah and they met together once every week and one of them came up a patient and the patients are often it's often very very good advice givers yeah because they know from a different perspective what they're talking about yeah. and this patient was suffering from you know declining up and downs of moods yeah not severe but severe enough to say you know this is a very bad day and a bad day is a bad day yeah mm -hmm. and he said i discovered something on my bad days i do everything which i dislike like tidying up the room doing the cupboard sorting my books and whatever yeah uh, because if it's a bad day anyway why not do all the stuff i wouldn't do on a happy day yeah mm -hmm. afterwards in the evening this person felt an enormous relief and happiness why because he didn't he didn't allow the mood to interfere with that which is needful to be done mm -hmm. and if we you, you you understand there's a fine line it's don't put pressure on yourself to, to feel out. good yeah. but feel the pressure of using every day every hour no matter how we feel to do something which is worthwhile once again to know that what i did is good mm -hmm. yeah gives us a certain sense of satisfaction yeah and then you don't have to, uh, very often anxious people who suffer from anxiety yeah they wait until the anxiety goes away and then they wait for they can wait for ages yeah um, but if say you know who tells me that i can't do the things which with, with my anxiety you see so to have a certain in logotherapy in the school i'm coming from we call this self-detachment in other words to have a certain don't be too impressed by what your mind does to you yeah be more impressed by what life is asking us to do mm -hmm. yeah at the same time when i'm giving this advice and we talk about this in a mental health context you wouldn't want people to do to do too much pressure on themselves yeah so Follow your, your inner voice, your heart, not only your head, which is very cold, like Spock in, in, in you know, Star Trek, yeah, uh, and not your, your, your gut feeling, which is just like, no, I want to do this. In the middle is our heart. Mm -hmm. And this is where we should reside, where we should, if you want to live a healthy, happy, and whole, and compassionate, and kind, and benevolent life, yeah, move your <laughs> center to the balance in the middle in your heart. Yeah. And there, a few things unfold which we which otherwise i think that's really where existential where, where life is happening in, in a nice way yeah because it's in the middle so to speak yeah mm -hmm.